Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're here for the Elusive Samurai episode 10. Last week there was a recap episode, which I was not warned about at all. I woke up fully prepared to record an Elusive Samurai episode, and then I checked what in at the release time, and it was a recap. So, uh, anyway, the episode, the actual episode 9 was incredible. We saw Tokiyuki vs Shogun, and Tokiyuki Shokun, was it Shokun or Shogun? Shokan, I think it was a mix of those Shokan. Uh, Tokiyuki actually, uh, absolutely destroyed him. He cut him once on his wrist, and dude almost bled out from that, because he couldn't hit Tokiyuki. That's insane if you ask me. Um, but we saw Fubuki go up against the strongest guy in their camp and mop the absolute floor with him. And then we saw the other two uh, going up against uh, one of the other guys using one of those um, long weapons, which I believe I looked the name up after and I've already forgotten it. Uh, but it's a cool weapon and they ended up beating him uh, as well. And we took down Shokan's group, but not before um, um, uh, Sabamune could swoop in and save Shokan before he bled to death. Yeah. So, we're definitely going to be seeing them again at some point whenever uh, Sadamune attempts to attack us again. But that was uh, uh, overall really um, uh, an amazing episode. The animation was gorgeous, the fights were fucking awesome, and uh, Cloverworks absolute, absolutely killed it. Anyway, now we're on to the next arc. I don't know where we're headed for here, but we've got three more episodes. I believe this is a 12 episode season. It might be 13, but three to four more episodes, so we've got more than enough time for a final arc here to wrap up the season. But uh, per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime past, anime current manga past manga, and have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions. So feel free to check out either either of those of your own will. Now, without further ado, up straight to the Elusive Samurai episode ten. Oh, are they burying the families that died, that were killed by Shokan and his men? Oh my God, it's so cold; his fingertips are frozen. Because I wish to protect the Oh, they're mourning the death of the soldier. That's what they were gonna mourn the death of the parents for all the kids. Yeah, shit like this happens all the time, dude. Yeah. 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 Was he gonna come clean about the fact that he loses his uh, premonition? He is. <laughs> the gods hold power only if there are people who believe in it. Regain? He has to regain it? Oh shit. Are we actually getting down to the... Okay. Hell yeah, I'd love to get an actual explanation for how his powers work. <laughs> he dipped immediately. You're you're totally not getting that for Yorishige. He's so bad at hiding secrets. He's so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a great question. Ew! Oh my god. So no, it's not actually proven that this will help you. It just happened to help you. Oh my god. What what is that called? Like in sports or like not even sports, but any event where what is that called? Oh my god, why can I not think of the word? Where you like do something because it works once and then you do it over and over again even though it's obviously that's not why it's working. What is that called? It's like when it's like when a sports player comes out and said, "Yeah, I wear the same socks for every game because I play good when I wear these socks." Like that type of shit. Like like what what is that called? Why can I not remember what that is called? God damn it. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll think of it later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we know damn well Yorishige can eat a lot. God damn it. Oh my god, he keeps going around asking everybody. Oh my god, it smells. That didn't work. Nope, of course it didn't. 
Take the rope? It just makes you look like a pervert. It just... This just makes you look like a pervert. <laughs> yeah, this just makes you look like a big old pervert. Mm. <laughs> okay, is that of a shrine maid? Oh my god, everybody is watching this unfold. It totally makes Tokyuki look like a huge pervert. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Your kink is wild! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he's he's hearing all of them. I'm more inclined to grow to be huge perverts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You better go clear up this missing <laughs> Just the, the straw doll there. I will master the art of war and perversion. <laughs> Eating more eel. <laughs> They're totally put off. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tokiji's gonna beat your ass. Uh, yeah. What an asshole. Such an asshole. Perpetually unpredictable moods. Ooh. Whoa. What on earth? Oh, hello. Well, she's a cool. <laughs> Just standing on the rock. The accomplishment of your goals. To show you if he told you to come here. Is she walking on water? He's just casually walking on water, huh? Whoa. See them for a little while. What is happening? What the fuck? This is so sick. But if I pray here, they'll protect us. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. This is the last area where people coexisted with the divine. As fact in official documents, I see. What is happening? The divine storm that sank the Mongolian army. That was all because of our prayers. Were seriously claimed as achievements, and many shrines received real rewards. I see. Love the history lessons we're getting. But it was blurry and unclear. I don't think I know much about you. <laughs> well, no shit. That's clear as day. Oh god, are we about to introduce our next villain here? Oh, no, maybe not. It's Takeuji, yeah it is. Start envisioning the future for our country. I think that's Takeuji's voice, yeah. Tadayoshi. 
That name flashed so quickly. Tadayoshi Ashikaga. Oh, it's his younger brother. God. We'll begin a revolt soon. <laughs> that straight cut to him staring right at the camera was terrifying. <laughs> you guessed correctly with your intuition. Damn. I can't beat your brains. The rocks! Are they, those were just real images of rocks, weren't they? Aren't <laughs> you really only thinking about 14? <laughs> well, these two look dangerous. Uh, intuitive and a master of war. Intellectual, level-headed, and logical. And yet they were brothers, yep. They were very close. That's gonna be a problem. Dealing with both of them. That creepy-ass animation on that hand. Interesting how he doesn't like it. What the fuck was that? So called? Sweet, I thought that was a shagmus. Kono has surpassed the level of just having a good intuition. If he has good intuition, he should very clearly see that his brother is, like, up to something, right? And that's kind of the point where I wonder if he is human. Ooh! I wonder if he's real as it himself. That he only sees the Buddha? What the f Fuck! That was the whole drawing? That he only sees the Buddha as prey. What the fuck? That's creepy, dude. Ta Every scene with Takeuji in this show is so fucking cool. It's just so cool to me. Every scene with him in it is done so well and so uniquely. It's like so unnerving in a way I don't think- I don't know if I've ever felt in an anime before. It's awesome. It's so well done. Protects that same Kamakura. Less than half a year? <laughs> it's not my place to tell you. Yeah, it was very strange how she like practically leaned in and nearly kissed him on the eye to give him like the power for a minute. Uh, she's definitely very interesting because she can seemingly just communicate with him anytime she wants. Oh my god. We're manifested by holy power. Whoa. In a world with more watchful eyes and advanced social surveillance. Someone as important as you could not be a fugitive. Because no one is looking for them. Ah. This is such a cool visual. Like it's not, this is just not even like, this show is so unique. I love it so much. They try so many unique things and excel and do, and do them super well. The wonders cease to be wonders. Oh my God. The famed God's Crossing. 
The weaker the gods will be. I see. This is a good explanation for like how things worked back then. That like there are, it's a good explanation for how the powers in this universe work and that there used to be these mystical powers, but the humans got stronger and stronger and stronger and eventually they faded away after this time period. It's like they said earlier in them, so this is the last time period that this stuff was used. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. This is the last time period where we get to use divine powers. Yep. It's interesting because his power is not even divine power. You should live your life to the fullest. What a crazy episode. It's been nothing but like downtime the entire episode, but they've given so much more explanations to things in this world and how they work and function during this period of change. <laughs> you see his face as he's chasing him. <laughs> what? Uh, gather tools for his own pleasure? Oh my god. Is he the one with the shrine maiden? At least they understand that it's not Tokiyuki who's the pervert now, it's Yorishige who's the pervert. Uh, oh my god, he's the. <laughs> it's so intense that he actually looks like he's having a divine experience, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Because Yoshige is free in an isolated world. That was such a good episode. That was a really, really good episode. It was more of a calm down episode after what occurred last episode, but it was still somehow on par with... And, and like, it was really good. That's all I'm trying to say. That was a fucking great episode. Like I, like I was saying during the episode, they try so many unique things with like visually and the way they tell their story. And it's, it just all works. They hit the nail on the head with everything they do. It's really good. That was a fucking awesome episode. That was actually such an awesome episode. Like I said, I, I talked mostly during the ED about what I wanted to say, but like just visually, this show is incredible. It tries so many neat things and excels in so many ways. Like uh, the visuals with like Sadamune and stuff with his creepy eyes early on, or the visuals with the ants from Shokan, or the visuals of Tokiyuki from last episode, where he was like flying around and there was a ton of him jumping all over the place. Like so many unique approaches to doing like anime visuals and all of them hit and all of them are really, really cool. Like this show is just fucking awesome. It's it's so cool. And like, I'm getting a history lesson at the same time about how like people uh, used to claim that the re like people in Japan used to claim the reason they they beat, uh, they I believe they said they beat the one in, against Mongolia or something like that was like people in like uh, shrines and stuff were saying it's because they were praying the holy powers made them win. Like you get these cool like history lessons from Japan at the same time explaining why people in history books put that they had like these supreme powers and stuff and whatnot obviously in the history books they explain that it's just people like saying that they that they won because of a holy power or whatnot because they were praying but in this universe there actually is such things and this is the last era that these powers are being used which i think is such a cool way to kind of twist history in a way that you're not making it necessarily incorrect why my finger did something weird there. You're not necessarily twisting it to be like a wrong retelling of history, but you're twisting it to like make the powers real. It's just really cool. I really like what they're doing. This is an awesome episode. And the stuff with Takayuji too, like I said, every scene he's in is fucking terrifying. You literally never know what this dude is gonna do. It's just awesome. This show's really cool. And I'm excited to see how we wrap it up in the next two or three episodes. I don't know if it's a 12, se 12, episode, 12 episode or 13 episode season. I think it might be 12. But whatever it is, I'm excited to, to wrap it up here in the next couple weeks. But I think that is going to wrap it up for my action to the Elusive Samurai, episode 10. Hope you guys did enjoy and hope you all have a good day.